hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to a new video. Just got my cup of tea. It is blimmin' freezing in England right now. I thought we was like over this cold spell of snow, ice, minus temperatures, but this week it seems to have come back and Oh, I generally just can't get warm, so I just thought I'd make myself a lovely cup of tea. Um, but anyway, welcome back to, finally, at long last, a new cleaning video. I don't know about you guys, but I don't feel like January is January without a reset, deep clean of the whole house, organisation as well. Uh, I absolutely love doing that to set the year off to just a good start. And yeah, just like out with the old, in with the new. I feel like as well, when you put all your Christmas decorations back, the house feels like really bare. So yeah, I just feel like January is that time where I just like to spruce up everywhere maybe change like interior bits and bobs around um, and yeah that is what we're going to be doing in this video so I am going to be doing a full deep clean of the house I don't know about you guys but I always like to do my deep cleans over a couple of days I find it so hard deep cleaning all in one day I'm one of these people that unless I'm really really in the mood to deep clean like and do the whole house in one day I kind of like I don't know like I procrastinate and then I like move on to doing something else and I don't know, I don't know, let me know what you are. Do you deep clean the whole house and take one whole day or do you do like downstairs one day, upstairs the next day? Because that's definitely what I do. I do downstairs one day, then do upstairs the next day. Also, just a word of warning, you may see Christmas stuff in this video and me tidying away Christmas because I did actually film this video a couple of weeks ago now. But obviously I got sick over Christmas and yeah, it just was a bit of a hot mess. But anyway, I didn't want this video to go to waste because I don't know, I still love watching things like this and seeing how people organise their Christmas things and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to obviously play the video. But anyway, before we get into all of that, I thought first of all I could show you a few new prints I picked up from Decenio this month. Because as I was just saying, January for me is that time when I kind of like want to spruce my house up a bit. But obviously don't want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on redecorating and things like that. And one way that I always feel is really good to kind of like spruce your house up and, you know, just make things look a little bit different is by getting some gorgeous wall art. So this part of the video is actually very kindly in collaboration with Desenio, which if you guys have been here a while, you will know I absolutely love Desenio. I have been using their prints for so long in my house, obviously my last place that I rented. Um, and yeah, I just think they're brilliant. If you don't know who they are, by the way, they are a Scandinavian wall art company. They aim to provide like affordable wall art um, and they honestly have such an array of designs. There is honestly something for everyone. But one thing that I always feel really helps on the website is they actually have like a gallery wall option. This is one thing I really recommend to do if you are someone that struggles to kind of like put pictures with other pictures and wants to know how it's going to look and get a vision. They do this section, like I say, called gallery wall art where you can actually like create a wall in all like 3D and stuff and pop the pictures onto the wall so you can actually see how they would kind of like look and vision them better and I just think it's so good because you can see like what works for each other so yeah definitely check out that little option on the website because I really think it's good they also drop new prints every Tuesday as well they also have an option as well to get frames on the website which is really handy so then you can get everything in one place it will be delivered to your door print and frame so I picked out a few different ones I have had these prints for so long now I actually had them um at my old place um and i moved them here because obviously they do go so nice with the bedroom because i just moved all of my bedroom furniture to mitchell's so it's basically just a duplicate of my old room here um so yeah we just thought you know what like they're really nice so i love them but i just want to switch up so before we go for let me just show you all of them and i'll tell you where i'm going to put what so first of all i picked up this print which i thought would be really nice for the kitchen it's quite light and airy i love like the paris croissant coffee i just think that's like very kitchen-esque then i actually grabbed a landscape print i don't know what it was that drew me to this but i just really liked the imagery i just thought it was really nice black and white i thought this could maybe go in the living room just like leaned up on like the sideboard i have under the stairs because it always looks a bit fair there um then oh my goodness how good is this this is actually a weekly plan so you pop it in a frame i also ordered the pen to go with it it's just a Plan, write, create. Oh, that's cute what it says on the pen. But it's basically one of those pens where you write on the frame and then you can obviously wipe it off like a wipe off pen. But yeah, it's just like a weekly plan. I thought something like this would be so handy. I could just keep it on my desk over there. Then every week, just write a plan of like what I'm doing, like Monday admin, Tuesday filming. Do you know what I mean? Just so I know where I'm at. So I thought that was really good. Then the two prints that I have selected out for the bedroom 
First up, this palm tree one. I feel like this was from the new Sophia Ritchie collection that Desenio did. Um, and then, oh, I got this one to go next to it. So that's obviously Sophia there, looks absolutely stunning. I just love the black and white. And then I just simply picked up two for the living room to change up. So I just got these kind of like abstract ones. They've got like a beige background, black and white. So all them colors just tie in really nicely with the living room. This one's my personal fave. I love that one. Um, so yeah, that is everything I picked up from Desenio. Also, before I forget, I do have a discount code with Desenio as well, which will get you 45% off, which is an amazing deal. There is some exclusions. I will leave the information on the screen and also in the description box. I feel like it's only valid for like four to five days. So take advantage if you want to get yourself any new prints because the offer won't be on forever because the discount won't be on forever. And yeah, it's a great deal. So. And yeah, it's a great deal if, like I say, you want in a little refresh of your prints or want to buy yourself or want to treat yourself some prints for the new year. So anyway, I'm actually going to shut up now and put the wall art in the frame. So here are the bedroom ones on the wall. I did it all by myself. I didn't even wait for Mitchell. I thought actually, because they already have um, the command strips on the back, I can do it myself because it just, do you know what I mean? Like sticks straight back on because it's actually attached to the frame. So these are what they look like. I really, really like them. Just the little change up I needed. Right, let's move down to the living room now and sort them ones out too. Okay, just thought I'd show you the last two prints that we've just put up in the living room. How much better do they look? I don't know if I've even know if I've shown you them before. You will probably have saw them before in past videos. But I just feel like these complement the living room so much more now because we do have like an off-white on the panel in here. And obviously we've got like the black. So yeah, I just think they look so much better, so much fresher, just changes up the living room so much. So really trust with those. Um, anyway, I'm now going to carry on with the clean with me. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so jumping straight onto the clean with me, as always, guys, before I start, I like to put something on, whether that's music, a podcast, and even like that, I also like to light a candle, just so everywhere starts smelling gorgeous, and then I normally make myself a drink, but I'll be honest, I just wasn't feeling in the mood for a cup of tea or anything like that, so... Yeah, I think I just ended up getting a water. Um, so jumping straight on in, I thought I would clean the coffee table first of all. Glass coffee tables, honestly, are a nightmare for dust. You have to constantly wipe over them every single day. Um, but I actually found this window lean in Home Bargains. My mother-in-law had been telling me about this for ages, that you need to get the pink one in the window lean, not the blue one. And oh my goodness, it is 10 times better than the blue one. Like... I was wondering what the hype was all about, but yeah, this window lean glass cleaner is the best. Um, I then obviously wanted to clean this area, so first thing I wanted to do was just take this Sephora wipe. I just wiped up on the wall because there was a mark from the mirror and also just did the skirting boards with this. You can make up like a diluted Sephora in a bottle and do this, but yeah, I like to use Sephora on the skirting boards just because it smells so good. Then just take my hoover and hoover that area. I also wiped around that area because it just seems to get loaded dust. And then I dusted the little lanterns too. And then again, just gonna go in with the window lean. Um, is that what it's called, window lean? For the mirror, because oh my God, it was so good. It was like so smear free. It's like the first time I think I've cleaned my mirror. And you know, like when you go back to it like an hour later and it's still like streak free, smear free. It just looked so good. Moving on to the fireplace. I actually forgot that I hadn't picked up any polish. So I'm just using the window lean again, um, but it's fine. It's working. I just need to get rid of all the dust and just clean up there. Then moving on to the sofa, I'm just taking everything off first of all and then what I like to do is grab my shark hoover with the small attachment and just hoover all over it. I feel like with this vehicle fabric sometimes a lot of like bits of your clothes and stuff attached to it. So yeah, just giving it a good hoover, popping the cushions back on and then I'm going to take my Primark Clean Cotton Fabric Spray which you guys know is my favourite. It smells so blooming good and then I'm just going to simply just spray the sideboard behind and just wipe that over too. 
We had a few bottles just like on the side from Christmas that I needed to put away. So popped one of those in the drinks fridge and then got rid of the glass Christmas tree jar and put all the Christmas sweets just in like a little glass vase that I had. I don't know what it actually is. I just found it somewhere and I thought, oh, that looks better than a Christmas tree lying out in January. Then did the exact same thing with the other sofa and then gave everywhere a good hoover. And then finally to finish up I just got my flash speed mop just to go around like all the edges where the flooring is just to give that a good wipe over and that is it that is the kitchen the kitchen no it's not the kitchen the living room all fresh and clean oh nothing better than a clean good smelling living room Then moving on to the kitchen, so I'm just simply popping all the washing up that had been done away first and then I did have some in the sink to do as well, so just running some water and going to wash that up too. I feel like I've said this before guys, but one thing I always thought I would miss when moving to Mitchell's was a dishwasher, but surprisingly I really don't. I feel like doing the washing up is just a little bit more productive than a dishwasher because with a dishwasher I always felt like I would obviously let everything build up so I could do a full load. Then it'd be like the dreaded like chore of oh, having to unload the dishwasher, whereas with washing up you do it all in one go, dry it, put it straight away and that's it, it's the job done. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know that. Anyway, moving on to cleaning the sink now. So what I like to do with this plastic sink, which I think I said before, a bit of the bane of my life. Um, no, it's not that bad. Um, but what I do is get some Sif or a cream cleaner, scrub mummy, just scrub everywhere up, then take my minky and obviously rinse down everywhere. And then what I like to do is just take like a dry microfiber cloth or just something dry and go over and just like wipe it all down. Um, yeah, just so that there's like no smears. I say smears, not really smears, but sometimes with the cream cleaner you can get like white bits that just kind of come up. So yeah, I just like to dry it all down. So that is all done. By the way, do you guys like my new like washing up dryer thing? I got it from Donnell and I just think it looks so much better than that silver one I had. It just looks a little bit smarter, goes with the black that we've got in the kitchen. Um, so yeah, anyway, moving on, we're going to move on just to wiping down the sides. So I'm just taking the Flash Eucalyptus Spray. I thought I would love this as much as the washing up laundry stuff, but I don't feel like it has the same smell. So I'm going to be quite glad when I've used all this up because I'm not that key on the scent. Um, then moving on to the hob. So again, just spraying that. I spray the top bit with a window and glass cleaner and then the underneath where like the vent bits are just with an anti-back spray um, just because you get like all grease and stuff there. And then if you have one of these hubs, always recommend just taking a cream cleaner, scrub mummy, scrub daddy, just something a little bit abrasive, scrubbing all over and then again just take a minky to rinse it all down. And then I like to finish off, you guys will know this if you've been here a while, with the flash, oh what is this spray called? Anyway, that's what it looks like. It's in a grey and black bottle, but it's so good. You need a dry microfiber cloth to wipe down, but it literally gives it the best shine ever. The best shine. Love it. Then moving on to the surfaces. So if you can see, there is a tea stain. Um, admittedly, when I'm doing my tea, I sometimes like take the um, tea bag out and put it on the side or like I spill tea. If you want to get rid of these and struggle, then all you need is some Barkeeper's Friend. I much prefer the powder, if I'm not honest. Just a little bit of water and just scrub it in. Then you can leave it for a bit if you want and then come back to it, wipe it away. It doesn't smell the best, but honestly, it gets rid of stains. It is so good. Then just having a quick clean of the microwave. So just spraying inside, washing up like the little glass plate that's in there as well um, and that is that then just wiping it over just to make sure there's no streaks on the front and then just giving a spritz of this worktop too and just wiping that down as you can see I still have my hot chocolate station out from Christmas so I wanted to just put this away because it's not hot chocolate season anymore I mean it is 
I love a hot chocolate all year round. So I'm going to keep my hotel chocolate machine out. But like the station just looks a bit much. So yeah, I just popped the hot chocolate machine on top of that little like wooden bench thing with the hot chocolate cups that came with the hotel chocolate set. Um, yeah, I thought that looked quite cute. Then I'm just wiping down just the cupboard doors. You can just take some diluted flora for this. And I just think it works a treat because it smells great and obviously just you know, is cleaning the fronts of the cupboards. I'm then just taking my shark hoover and just having a good hoover everywhere as well. And then also just hoover in um, the breakfast bar chairs as well. And then again, just with this area, I'm just wiping down everywhere. Um, and that's about it really. Moving on to the bin. I really, really dislike this bin. I just, yeah. I just don't like this bit. <laughs> anyway, how I clean it is I just get some flora, pop it in the bottom, take it like to the sink and obviously give it a good rinse and scrub. Then I also just put a little bit of flora on some kitchen roll and put that at the bottom of the bin just so it smells amazing. Put your bin bag in, jobs are good in. Then for the floor, I actually just prefer getting on my hands and knees with a floor wipe and like scrubbing the floor. I just feel like you can go into the corners easier and yeah, just just get a better clean basically. Right, now we're moving on to the bedroom. I thought I'd show you before, just to show you that my house isn't always tidy. Now, admittedly, this was due to being ill over Christmas and obviously being in bed with the flu for two weeks. So what had basically happened is, as you can see here, this is actually all Christmas presents and just like clothes and stuff that had just been kept in this pile because obviously I hadn't been out of bed and tidy and stuff. And also I wanted to keep my Christmas presents all in one space so I could film a little video when I was better. So yeah, that's the reason why. Um, but anyway, finally tidying up, which felt so good because I absolutely hate mess like that. So when you walk into a room and it just oh anyway now we're moving on to putting fresh bed linen on yes i am taking it straight out of the packet and not washing it uh, yeah i know people would not like that and people like to do that but anyway i'm not doing that because i could not be bothered and this um christmas tree bed linen was driving me mad because obviously it's not christmas anymore so yeah i picked up this one from b m it was only 25 pounds which i thought was a bargain and it honestly it's so soft as well um i am gonna get rid of the black in this room i'm just i feel like I, there's so much black everywhere in the house now i just kind of want this room to be a bit more like neutral so yeah i've chucked them cushions on there for now but i will probably change them to just like more beigey cream cushions so i need to go on the hunt for those then just wiping up the sides and getting rid of obviously all the dust that's built up doing the same on the desk i want to change this area up as well because i don't use this desk at all um and then just finishing up with some of the fresh cotton spray from primark which you know i've already mentioned this a million times now my favorite thing ever and then again finishing up with a hoover Moving on to the bathroom. So again, just thought I'd give you a little like overview of how it was looking before. So just like things out, not put away. Just, yeah, just like soap scum build up and things like that. So it was in desperate need of a good old scrub. So I always like to start with the toilet first. Um, I actually put gloves on today, but they didn't last for long because they stunk. They had this like fishy smell. And oh, I just feel like, you know, when I've got gloves on, I can't clean properly. Maybe I'll get used to them, but yeah, I mean, I had them on whilst I was using the bleach. So that's the main thing. But as you guys know, always start from top to bottom with um, the toilet. And I just like to take my Zaflora wipes to do this with. They smell so good. Then just taking some bleach and just putting this in the toilet and then taking the toilet scrubber and just scrubbing all the toilet and then i'll just give a flush um and then i like to put the um i don't actually never know what this is called toilet stuff down just smells good <laughs> don't really know what it does it just smells amazing i'm also just popping one of them new toilet rim block things on as well then i'm just taking a wipe and just wiping down the sides of the toilet oh my god you get so much dust collect there it's crazy and then moving on to the sink, I've just taken my favourite flash bathroom spray, a new fresh bathroom minky and just wiping over all of that. And then I will do the exact same with just like the top bit, the windowsill. I honestly can't even think today, the windowsill.
Okay, so for the tiles, I thought I would try something different. I saw this on TikTok, so I just thought I would try it. Um, so basically just spray in the tiles with the flash bathroom spray and actually just put in a new cloth on to my speed mop and just yeah, just rinse them over like that. I mean, my tiles aren't like some people's where, do you know where they're mirrored and you can see like the build up and stuff on them and it's like really annoying. Like look at these, these don't show anything up. But yeah, I just wanted to obviously clean them just to freshen them up and make it smell good. And then I'm also taking some lime scale remover and just spraying like all the taps and everything where lime scale builds up and just leaving that for a good like 10, 15 minutes before rinsing away. Then just cleaning this bath rack. Um, it is very stained with purple shampoo, which is so annoying. But yeah, I'm just taking a scrub daddy um, and my bathroom spray and then just rinsing it down. It just looks loads better. bath i do like to take the flash bathroom liquid spray liquid spray that is completely wrong liquid so annoying though because i don't have like the thing on the top of it now to like control how much you get out so like loads always comes out which is a bit annoying but anyway i also obviously take the scrub daddy again just to scrub everywhere like scrub the whole entire bath and then again rinse it down with the shower <laughs> Then just taking my scrub daddy again and obviously because I sprayed this earlier with the lime scale remover I'm just giving it a good scrub but honestly when I first moved in this was like thick with black and rust because clearly guys don't clean these kind of things so like I always try and keep on top of it now um, because yeah it's crazy how it builds up if you don't. Then I'm just taking some glass and window spray for this. I do normally clean this down with um, like a, a cream cleaner like um, the pink stuff or Sif that's really good and then a scrub daddy again but it didn't really need it so yeah i just thought i'd just wipe it down with some window and glass spray instead then taking my favorite bathroom air fresheners now admittedly they don't last for long but honestly there's nothing better after a bathroom clean putting a fresh one of these in it smells like watermelon and honestly it's just such a nice scent i love it i'm then just taking it some more wipes and just wiping down like the um, sink and obviously the front and the bath panels and stuff and also just giving the floor a good scrub as well because you know I like to scrub the floor with my hands rather than like a mop um, and then again just taking some window and glass spray and some kitchen roll and just cleaning over the towel rail. To finish, I thought I'd just quickly go over all the floors with a, well, all the floors, the bathroom's floor with a speed mark. Um, but yeah, I did, like I say, just get on my hands and knees and scrub, so it was pretty clean anyway. But yeah, that is the finished bathroom, and that brings us to the end of this clean with me. I hope you have enjoyed, guys. Don't forget to check out Desenio and take advantage of my discount code whilst it is available. Um, but yeah, thank you all once again. I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.